Hello, my name is Steve Harris, and I am a development engineer with knowledgepublications.com. And I'm going to show you a little experiment today that is going to knock your socks off. We have here a common, two common chemicals, and let me see if I can show you. There's a black one and a white one. When mixed together, they're gray. One, the round one, is made from salt. The other one, the black one, is, is well, it's mined. You can go mine it. You can literally go mine hydrogen. You can pick this up, in fact, if you're outside, you're probably walking on some of it right now. Anyways, to these chemicals, we are going to add a little bit of water. Now, this is nothing extraordinarily new science. This is great science. This is explained in detail in our book, The Chemistry and Manufacture of Hydrogen for the first time in print since 1919. And what they didn't have in 1919 was DVDs. And here is the Chemistry and Manufacture of Hydrogen DVD. Roy McAllister and Steve Harris explain it all to you so you can understand it even better than what's in the book. And the book is really good. You're gonna enjoy this. So here we go. Okay, zoomed in a little bit. Oh, did I say we were with knowledgepublications.com? Yep, I did. Okay, here we go. On an ambient, get water ready. Water is in. Now this is going to be a little bit more on the spectacular side. On the controlled side, you would use this for illuminating balloon, um, not illuminating, but um, filling up uh, balloons, observation balloons, blimps, uh, all that nice type of stuff that they did back in production okay now we're gonna watch the exact same reaction uncontrolled again now controlled it doesn't do the wild flames but we're going to uh, watch it in an open cup this is just a Dixie cup Now the fun part, that's steam and hydrogen coming off. Now we're gonna start a little bit more serious hydrogen production. And there we go. And here, that's hydrogen. Hydrogen, steam, mostly hydrogen. And here we go. That is sodium colored hydrogen burning. The sodium is what is making it yellow, and the sodium comes from salt. Is that not a beautiful example of oxidation reduction chemistry? Is that not just beautiful? Look at that. Now that, you might be wondering what that is. Yeah, that's not a waste product. That is a product you can make back into sodium, 
sodium chloride and other chemicals to do the reaction again and that chemical right there is something you can sell. That chemical is in demand. In fact, it's used in the glass business. So there we have a beautiful example of an out of control runaway exothermic hydrogen production reaction. That should give you the idea of the power of this chemistry that's in our book, The Chemistry and Manufacture of Hydrogen from 1919 by P. Litherin Teed. This is an outstanding book and Roy McAllister and I explain it even more in the DVD and of course it's all available from knowledgepublications.com learning a little more every day.